going on ladies and gentlemen we are back with the wolf among us i definitely enjoyed this uh playing it the first time so we're gonna get right into it <laughs> i really really like this game so far and when i say so far is that games usually have a tendency to uh mess up later on what the hell is luxury this? apartments wish they wouldn't advertise that having hidden stuff around, so just making sure I look around before, what the hell? Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. The fuck? Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. I'm sure. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Fuck that! I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Beauty and the Beast. It's not what you might be thinking. Well, it looks like what I'm thinking. If what I'm thinking is what he's thinking, then we're both thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just kidding. Man, okay, so that clarifies what the characters are. They're all the, the, the story tales that we've grown up with that I grew up with in the uh, movies that I was watching when I was younger. Let me check my mail first. Been a while since I got any mail. You never know. Might be getting some now. Shit. A day in a row. Guess I kind of jinxed it. Let me wake this dumbass up. Or what fairy tale this guy is. <laughs> hey, you wink. Grumble. Hmm. Probably for the best. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Wake up! Oh my god, how's this guy have a job? Anyways, get the fuck out of here. Is there anything else I can do? No. No. What is this? What is that on the floor? Damn thing fell off again. Wait a minute. Not sure if putting this on there is a good idea or not, but uh how much longer is this gonna go on? Alright, so let's go upstairs. Any day now. There we go.
Bigby. Hey, wait up. I'm Have you seen that's my beast? wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I did. Yeah, I did. What? When? Just now. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. The woman's got some crazy shit going on. I don't respect that. Unless he was hitting you or doing something wrong to you, don't see the point in lying. Beauty and the Beast. Man. Looks like I could do this a few times, play it through, choose some different options. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what the fuck? Damn. Should have cracked a window. <laughs> Should have cleaned your fucking apartment. That's what. this here. I want to read this note. Can't read the note. Damn it. Get some ice cream. Damn it. Just put water in there if you have no ice. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. What the fuck? There's there's a pig in here. At least this still works. Yeah, let's turn that on. Should help. Uh, if we're gonna have company pretty soon, we can't have this place looking like a pigsty. But I need to understand what the fuck is a pig doing on my damn couch? Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Smoke? Really? You gotta be Thanks. kidding me. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. 
Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, I gave uh, you a cigarette! No, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look. Give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. This is some crazy shit going on here. <laughs> oh, man. Snow White? Oh my god. What is this? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay.
What the hell? This girl is, she's not a Mundy, right? No. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. I can't say anything to that. I no. feel like there's something you're not telling me. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> no, <sighs> no, Red Riding Hood, I loved you so much. Strange cut, what did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. You look Good idea. Very suspicious. I, I'm just... I don't know. It just looks so damn suspicious. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Yeah, I'm not heading back inside. There was a trail of blood over here. And I want to check out where the hell it comes from. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Of course it wouldn't. Good 
best than to lose trash. There's a person there, though. blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. I can't go through there. Because there's a big bright light over there, but... There's not much else I can do here. That just sucks. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. Skeptical of my theory, maybe I should have done blood on the fence. That would have been more logical. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. The hell are these guys? What are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Jeez. Everybody's so angry. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow, 
Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I Can will. <laughs> massage? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Whatever. Dick. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <laughs> Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? The yes, fuck? thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Alcoholic. Alcoholic monkey. <laughs> oh, How are you today, Mr. Eyes. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right. Hello, so, Hi, this is hold on. Snow let's White. just let this play through a little bit. Hi. Yes, I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. That's right. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. No, we got your invoice. Anyways, guys, we're going to cut the video off right here. Uh, it's been going on a little longer than I wanted to. Uh, so as you guys can tell, I'm definitely loving this game. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some more footage. So take care. Thank you for watching. And see you later.